So this is gonna be a different video, but I just bought some trucks. I'm gonna explain how that happened because it was 100% entirely not planned whatsoever. But I needed a truck to move the 5.3 liter LS engine to another address. And so I didn't want to rent a truck. I realized that, you know, I have other cars that are in other places and I'll need to eventually tow them because, you know, when I move, I can't, can't just drive, you know, multiple vehicles at once. So I might as well get a truck. Well, anyway, so I got onto the handy dandy Facebook marketplace and was just kind of searching around and I found a phenomenal deal in San Antonio. The guy had two trucks listed for sale and I bought them both. So <laughs> yeah, um, Saturday we're gonna go pick them up. Well, we're picking one of the trucks up and then we're picking the other truck up in January. Uh, reason being is because I just don't have space here and I might be moving. So we'll be seeing how that goes. But yeah, we're picking the first truck up this coming Saturday and then we'll have to move the engine in Kyle to a different location to finish the LS swap on the BMW. And then once that's done, we'll, that, that'll be it for the BMW to be honest. But yeah, then we'll have two trucks and we'll start the truck build, built, truck builds, not build, but built. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much how that happened. So I'm gonna drop some pics of these trucks. You know, they're not in the best shape, but they're in running working condition. So yeah, I'm actually like really happy and really proud of myself to be honest. But anyway, so the first truck is a 2004 Chevy Silverado HD. You guys can see it has the crew cab and I believe that's leather interior. Beautiful blue color. And I'm honestly like, I'm super excited because that one's a four by four. So I'll be able to take it off road. If you guys thought that was it, that is not it. Because the second truck is a 1990 Chevy Silverado 2500. As you guys can see, it has the extended cab and the long bed, and it is also a 4x4. What do you guys think of that red interior? Looks pretty decent, right? So yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video as far as the announcements go. I actually, you know what, come to think of it, I do have one more announcement. So the BMW build is pretty much done. We do have to move the engine, like I said earlier, from one place to another. Then we're going to do a test fit, weld in the mounts. We have a welder now, so all of that's going to go right on in. And yeah, I mean, hopefully for a startup come the summertime, there's literally not that much more to do. <laughs> we've, we've done it all, you know. Uh, I'd say we're going to have this car running and driving before the new year. All the parts have been bought. Literally everything that we need, we have. So we're just going to get it done. And it feels good to say like we're gonna get it done like we it's the light at the end of the tunnel is finally here if you guys are new viewers to the channel be sure to subscribe smash that like button and comment down below what you guys want to see in future videos if you have not seen my last video i really do invite you guys to check it out it's gonna be right there that is me starting a brand account on instagram and i'll be also launching a website to go along with that brand account but that is pretty cool and i really think you guys will enjoy what I did with it, and maybe you guys want to do it yourselves. Without further ado, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.